when the mind can settle down with the breath, you can see things a lot more clearly and withstand things a lot with a lot more strength, because you're based on a good place, you've got a good foundation. So you're not trying to grab onto things as they come by. They come by and you just watch them go past. They come by and they watch them go past. Even when people aim things at you, you watch them go past. Because you've got a better place to stay. But you also see things coming out of the mind itself. And this is a lot more important. Because the things that come at you are nothing compared to the things that you flow out into the world. And you want to see that. You don't want to go running around with the flow. Because sometimes the flow is weak, sometimes it's really strong. It's like a flood. You know, they say that the, the rocks that are missing from the Grand Canyon are actually down here in San Diego County. Can you imagine what kind of flood that was and how long it, how strong the water was and pushed things along, how far they came? Well, the mind, when it's flooding out, it's just like that. If you're riding with the flood, you can get pushed really far, places where you would never imagine. So you have to be careful about what's coming out of the mind. Learn how to sidestep things. So again, the breath is a good place to stay. The mind may be having its storms, it may be having its floods, but you let them wash over you. And when you're not running with them, they don't go very far. It's like the beam of your flashlight. If you shine the flashlight at night and try to see how far does the beam go, and so you keep following it with the flashlight, following with the flashlight, it's going to go for very far. You couldn't, you know, there's never an end to it. But if you say, I don't need to follow that out, then the flashlight beam only goes so far and then it stops. So try to hold on right here in the midst of things flowing in, things flowing out, and be especially careful about the things flowing out, because that's your new karma. And as for past karma, you, there's no way of changing that, but you can change your new karma. You want to make sure that you're creating good karma all the time. So when the mind is flowing in a good direction, okay, you can go along with it, but don't go too far. Try to stay centered right here, because the real goodness is right here. This is where the goodness comes from. So just make sure that this spot is good, and okay, the things that come out of this spot are going to be good as well. As for things that come from other parts of the mind, don't grab onto them. Don't go flowing with them. And that way you stay safe.